Hello and welcome to another episode of macOSXScreencast.com. This is Falco and I will give you a short review of Forklift. Forklift is a file transfer client. I don't use the term FTP client. You may know it as FTP client, but Forklift can do much more than simple file transfer protocol via FTP. Um, it has several protocols it can use for file transfer. Um, you can see them in the in the connection wizard. For instance, you can use Amazon S3 uh, file transfer, Bluetooth devices, for instance, for connecting to mobile phones, normal FTP, SFTP, which is file transfer over SSH protocol, or WebDAV for some kind of versioning stuff and distributed authoring here. Um, the connection settings are pretty forward as you may know them from other um, file transfer clients so i don't don't go into much more details on that um, i will show you the the interface it has a split pane view and on the left side you see the favorites where you can have your local uh, uh, mostly used folders and your kind of bookmarks i already created some uh, connections for instance to my Amazon S3 account to my personal FTP server and when I click on the icons then it will appear as an active connection here in the connections section and I even can connect to my mobile phone and can browse the data of my mobile phone memory um, what is especially especially nice about forklift is the split pane view um, you can drag and drop between the panes and a very nice feature is the sync browsing. Let's imagine you have a backup uh, from part of your local disk on a remote site and tries to restore some files. Then you have to descend to the directories and do that on your local site and on the remote site as well. And this involves a lot of clicking and diving into directories. And this is what... Um, forklift can do for you with sync browsing in a more easy manner i will show you i choose my local disk uh, in the left pane um, i got my folder here and on the right pane i choose my remote site this is connected via ftp and here i got a folder forklift demo and you can see the content of the both panes is pretty much the same and if I enable sync browsing, I can descend into the directories and forklift will change the directories on the opposite side as well. So I can do that even here and dive into the directories and forklift will change the directories on the opposite. Um, this is very nice if you have to browse a lot of directories and search for files. Um, this is, is very handy. So another nice feature is to synchronize files or folders. Um, if you have some folders here and you try to upload the stuff, then you can just hit the sync button, choose the pane which will be the source, then hit the sync button. And now you see here in the preview um, which files will be transferred during sync. If you disable the syncing of subfolders, it will change instantly and show you which files to transfer. And that this file, for instance, is new and this file has to be retransferred because it's not fully available on the other side. If you see here, the source size is 11 megabytes and the target size is 352 kilobytes, so it has to be synced to the other side. Then you just can hit sync and it will sync your files to the other side and do an estimate on how long it will take. Okay, I stopped it as it will take too long uh, on my connection. There are another two features um, I like. This is the option to split or recombine files during transfer. Um, if you have to transfer a larger file and you want to have it split up on the other side um, for, I don't know, fitting on a DVD or stuff like that, then you can choose, I can show you, 
um, here I got a video with uh, 211 megabytes in size. Then I go to tools and say split and it will be split up into chunks fitting to a CDR or a DVD or to a custom size. I can say 50 megabytes creating checksums and then forklift will transfer the files and split it up into chunks. Um, what I found even more useful is the feature to combine files during transfer. For instance, if you have log files for every day uh, of your web server and you want them transferred to your local site and do some statistics on them, you might want to combine them uh, to one big file on your local system to have all the statistics of one month in one file. And then you just uh, mark the files you like to transfer choose combine and uh, forklift will combine the files during transfer so what else is interesting the um, batch renaming feature um, you can mark a lot of files see here if i want to change the name of all those files i go to tools and say batch rename or you can choose from the symbol uh, menu and then you can choose to replace text, add text or even add metadata to, to files um, and you can choose where you can where it should be replaced in the name in the nameless extension or only in the extension and you will get a preview of that so if I like to replace screen with display doesn't make much sense but it shows the effect you have the original and the preview you can even choose case sensitive and then say every occurrence or first last occurrence and then you say rename and forklift will rename all the files um, what else is interesting um, if you double click a file then forklift will open it with the default application which is associated with the file type um, for jpeg files um, it's my preview application and you can also instantly edit files on the remote side um, this is you select the file and hit the edit button and as you can see now I choose to use Pixelmator for editing JPEG files. And if I change something here, save the file, close Pixelmator, then the file will be transferred back to the remote site. And if I double click it here, so open it normally, then I see my changes there. Um, you can choose the editor for different file types here. You have a default editor, which I set to TextMate, and you can configure different editors for different file types. For instance, I choose uh, Pixelmator for JPEG edit and Coda for HTML. So this makes it very easy to, to edit files. And the default feature, if I double click on a file, um, I can change something here and hit the save button but nothing happened so if I open the file again it's unchanged and that's what I like on um, forklift because it doesn't edit files uh, if you double click it so you have to explicitly explicitly tell the application that you want to edit the file or click the edit button and then change the file on the remote side this prevents you from accidentally editing files. So now the file gets transferred. And if I open it now, then I see the blank, blank lines here. Okay, that's all for this review of Forklift, the very versatile file transfer client. Check out our website macosxscreencast.com for review of other famous Mac applications. Goodbye.